Hi, I'm here to talk to you about my favourite molecule, caffeine. It's pretty obvious why caffeine is my favourite molecule. I'm a first year uni student, I need to study, wake up in time for 8am lectures and not fall asleep in exams, and caffeine is a good way to do this. It actually allows caffeine to do its job as its structure, so we'll go into that first. Caffeine is a relatively strange molecule in terms of polarity, because although it is a polar molecule, it can pass freely through lipid cell membranes for fast absorption, and as a polar molecule it shouldn't really be able to do that. Now this is a caffeine molecule. It has double carbon nitrogen rings which are polar but with fairly low polarity due to shape, two double bonded oxygens which are highly polar, a bonded hydrogen to a carbon which is non-polar, and three methyl groups which are also non-polar. So it goes all over the place in terms of polarity. It has highly polar groups, it has non-polar groups, and because of this it acts both polar and non-polar at the same time. It can be dissolved in water and in lipids. The nitrogen carbon double rings are also known as purine rings because they're structurally the same as the rings of nitrogenous purine bases. Many organic molecules are derived from these purine rings, including a molecule called adenosine, and this is where it gets fun. Adenosine is released as a byproduct of the cellular activity of neurons and will build up as you're awake and your brain is active. And when you go to sleep, your body has a chance to decrease the adenosine concentration because your brain is producing less. Now, as adenosine levels rise, your body needs a signal to say, man, there's too much adenosine, we need to get rid of it, and it does this through adenosine receptors A1 and A2A, which adenosine will bind to in high concentrations, signaling you to feel tired and go to sleep. Adenosine receptors are not friends. Caffeine is actually an antagonist of adenosine receptors, but you've got to keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. So caffeine with its similar purine ring structure will bind to adenosine receptors, so adenosine can't bind to them. When it blocks the receptors, there's no signal sent for you to sleep. I think it's important to mention that there's also a few other ways that caffeine can affect your body, but these happen at high levels of intake, which aren't actually achievable by normal daily consumption. Basically, to sum it all up, caffeine keeps you awake by quickly absorbing into your body, blocking your adenosine receptors, and holding your response was sleep, all thanks to the shared purine ring structure of caffeine and adenosine.